Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Anglican Church Grammar School, better known as Churchy. My name is Melissa Downs from Nine News, and uh, today it will be my pleasure to show you through the senior school. We had a visit through the prep school yesterday. Now it's time for the senior school. We are going to take you through the grounds. We'll meet some students. We'll meet some of the teachers. We're going to meet the principal, the headmaster, uh, and just hopefully give you an idea of what Churchy has to offer your boys. So come this way. This is Magnus Quad. This is one of the... Well, it's the centre of the school, it's one of the most important parts. And meeting me here is the headmaster of the school, Dr Alan Campbell. Good morning, beautiful day for an open day today, day. isn't it? You're very welcome and so are all our viewers this morning. Welcome. Yes, indeed, it is gorgeous. I mean, look, but this isn't kind of our typical open day, isn't it? It's been that sort of year. It's been a, it's been a curious year, but, but I must say that um, I think the routines and the life in the school has been very, very reassuring to the boys and their families. So we're just delighted to be here. We're delighted that you're here. Thank you. And we're delighted that the uh, viewers who are tuning in to watch us or, or in uh, ensuing days are here as well. So welcome. It's a Thank big you. welcome. So this is Magnus Quad. This is kind of the the centre of the school, the heart of the school. We've got the the patron saint it, here. Explain part of that. Yes, you well, know, because it does. It does. Feel, it's that ethos of the school. It, isn't it, it is very much so. There, there is a spiritual element to this part of the school. One, about 108 years, 109 years, if you like, of of history in this place, where where thousands of outstanding boys have walked in and 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 left left as men of breadth and, and capacity. Mm. Uh, our founder was um, inspired by the story of St Magnus, the Earl of Orkney. Yes. Uh, started life we as a Viking. Have beautiful statue here. Beautiful yes. statue there that's done and it inspires the boys each day as they, they yeah. move around between the, the classrooms that surround the quad. St Magnus's story is one of a Viking start, uh, although he came to faith and service. Uh, lots of courage uh, and lots of travel and accomplishment and and the founder was moved by the fact that we had this man of privilege uh, and, and, and land ownership and yet was still very much minded to be of service and of thought for others. Yes. So it's been our inspiration and we pick up elements of the Viking nomenclature, but it's the courage in the heart and the willingness to serve. So we're inspired by this place a great deal. The boys are in classrooms, so even though it's a, it's a vigorous senior school, they're all busily in classrooms, and I know you're going to go into some are, shortly, <laughs> and you'll catch them doing all the things that they love to do in their curriculum yes. programs. So we're um, delighted to have you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, one of the big things that Churchy talks about is the making of men. Yes. H how do you do that on a day-to-day -day basis? We are, we are completely dedicated to, to the breadth of a man. In, in other words, as, they, as, as boys come in at different age and stage, we're committed to seeking his talents, inspiring him, um, working on the, the breadth of character, mm. uh, the decency, integrity, those human values that are so important as you move through life. We then, of course, add the intellectual rigour, uh, challenge them intellectually. Yes. We add the breadth in the challenge of the sporting domain. Uh, we get creative in music and the arts. We seek to serve, and in some ways that's an, that's an expression uh, of our Christianity as well, yes. so so we define the making of men as 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 preparing, nurturing, growing, developing boys into men of breadth, good men, decent men, mm. uh, who go from this place, serve into the, into their communities. We love to think that we inspire them in this place with our wonderful staff, and that they could go anywhere in the world yes. at any stage in the future, and they could walk with confidence, they could walk with humility and they could serve, they can learn. Uh, nothing will unsettle them too much. There'll be a sense of calm, uh, a sense of humility and, and modesty as well, but a sense of capacity and breadth. And if we can do that here yes. and, and send good and decent and accomplished men into the community, we'll be really pleased with our work. Mm. And I guess uh, your year 12 cohort had to had to deal with that. <laughs> and, and we do have the <laughs> We've got Jacob here. Yes, Jacob here, your school captain. Yeah. Jacob, yeah. I'm going to get you on this side, if Come that's OK. Side. Come over here. Look, they've been challenged. Yes, if yes. we want to talk about uh, uh, being flexible, yeah. learning to roll <laughs> with the uncertain uh, a little bit, certainly Jacob uh, and the young fellows in year 12, they've experienced that challenge. And uh, look, uh, honestly, I think they'll look back on that and view that as another opportunity 
to develop resilience yes. and and to learn that look you know things in life aren't always certain no, you've got right. to respond right. as life happens mm. uh, you want to be in control of, of as much as you can uh, and and be calm and so on but when it happens uh, you've got to respond. Yes. And Jacob and his men have done that very well. <laughs> well, I have wondered, Jacob, some, some of the things I've heard about during this year for Year 12 students especially, that actually the COVID has brought the group together because you had to rely on each other. Yeah, well, exactly. That's exactly right, Melissa. Um, I think that one of the, the best parts of Churchy is that, that brotherhood, as we call it, or that bond that each student has with each other and how united we are as a, as a, as a group and as a cohort in Year 12 especially. And with the challenges that we had this year, especially with um, with COVID and the pandemic, it's really brought everyone even closer than than usual, which is pretty pretty astonishing because we already are, as I said, a very cohesive and very united group. Yeah, I was going to ask you. I mean, you are nearly finished, which is very exciting. But this Magnus Quad is a special place from the first day you start at Churchy. Do you remember that first day when, as a Year 7 boy, or the first year, day of senior school as a Year 7 boy, what can you explain what happens here at Magnus Quad? Yeah, so as Dr Campbell and yourself have mentioned uh, previously, this is kind of kind of the heart of the school. So yes. it's where you, where you start your senior school journey in Year 7, and it's where you ended in Year 12. And yeah, I remember in Year 7, the school captain um, of, that, of that year kind of giving a speech to all of us, getting us, getting us excited for for our journey through the senior school and then obviously the feeling of being with your cohort on Magnus Squad, standing on the ground and doing a walk ride with the senior boys as well. Um, I'm pretty excited to get to finish it here too. Yeah, how, how is that feeling? I mean, especially after this year, it must, uh, it must be exciting yeah, to know that definitely. it's coming. I'm very excited. Yeah, and now tell me as well, a lot of people don't realise it's actually a real treat to walk on the grass <laughs> of the quad, yeah, isn't it? it is, <laughs> it is. Yeah. Rare um, occasions not, only. Yeah, yes, very, that's very right. Occasions. Yeah, well, you know, today is a rare occasion. We so are you, going you, to, yeah, we, we are going to walk across, <laughs> aren't we? we yeah. Yes, I didn't wear stilettos, so I'm not going to damage the grass. <laughs> I thought of that. But talking about being the head boy, I mean, did you... Did you always feel like perhaps you were going to be that or, or did the school, I don't know, bring out the best aspects of you to, to help you find this role? Well, it's kind of, I guess mine's a bit of a unique story because I did start at Churchy all yes. the way back in reception. So from this age I was four or five years old, I've, this has been my, my second home second pretty home. much. So I guess that um, I can attribute the values and the attitudes that I have now that have led to me being school captain or head boy, as you say, I can attribute to the school and the yes. journey that I've been on through the 13 years that I've been here and so yeah. I know you started say from um, reception but lots of boys who come in mm. grade seven or uh, they they feel that same bond with the school yeah. Yeah no every boy that's another my favorite part of the school is that every boy kind of forms that bond and connection with the school that lasts forever. My dad went to the school and he's still as heavily involved now as he as he was back when he was a student. My brother went to the school he's still heavily involved and I think that that bond that you that you carry with you forward with the school is pretty special. Yeah. How are you feeling about exams the end of the year? Are you prepared? I think I think the school's done a perfect job in preparing us for these exams. Obviously, it's it's always stressful with uh, how much it counts in this new system, and we're not really sure how everything's going to go. But yeah. I'm pretty confident in the in the place that I am that I've been given the best best chance to do as well as I possibly can. When you look back now on all those years here at Churchy, are there are there some standout memories? What what do you, you know, is it sport? Is it um, a, something that you did as a team, uh, you know, with, with, your, with your fellow students or what do you think? Or is it just that sense of the school or? There's probably, probably two for me. Um, firstly, I'm a big, big basketball player. So this year um, being given the chance to compete in the GPS competition in the first and win that undefeated and then also the school giving us the opportunity to go to um, the all schools competition which is yes. over 100 schools in the state compete for a championship and we also went undefeated and, huh. and won that so that was that's probably one and secondly um, earlier this year we did a, a massive war cry before the COVID restrictions yes. obviously with probably around 500 to 600 boys that, that came and out on one of the fields and that was pretty awesome just to see everyone kind of bond together and join together. Was that a was that a way was that something because you knew you weren't going to see each other for a while as in? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. like just to br just to bring the school together to unite the school cohesive yes. and yeah. and as one and that was that was a pretty special feeling that everyone felt on that field that day. I bet it was. And I mean there is that uh, there's that interaction between the year levels isn't there? I mean it's yes, definitely it, yeah. it, it's yeah. a it, it's certainly an a, a R to 12 school. 
while we have a, there, there is a there is a, a sense of place and an identity, of course, in the in the prep school we visited there yesterday, yes. and the senior school, and they have a certain flavour about them as is age appropriate. There's also an all-in feel. There's also that lovely feel that across the ages from five, well, they're almost all 18 now in Year 12 in Queensland. So across those ages, there's a place for every age and stage. Uh, there's an opportunity for every boy to find his talents, to find where he can grow, to, to be challenged, you know, to be unsettled a little yes. bit too, yes. to take some risks, be unsettled and to find where they can improve. But certainly that wonderful sense of, of uh, growth. And, and Jacob's mentioned it, you know, they come in as tiny little boys and before they, you're looking up to them and you're thinking, <laughs> goodness me, somewhere along the line, you know, we're all outgrown here. Uh, and, and, and yet, you know, there's still a place to challenge them and nurture them and, and encourage them. So it's a great blessing in an Art of 12 school, I yes, must say. Yes. All right. Well, we're going to continue walking over here. Yeah. yeah. Classroom. Yeah. yeah. So what's, what's on the agenda for today for you? What do you do from here? Um, so I've got a normal kind of six day cl uh, class period yes. today. So. Um, what are your favourite subjects? Favourite subject? Oh, modern history is my favourite. Modern, modern history. history yeah. Wow. There you go. What are you hoping to do next year? Um, so I've put in my QTAC preferences, obviously, and I put yes. uh, Commerce Law at UQ at the top, so that's okay. that's the plan, hopefully, if everything goes well, as Well, good luck. Should. I will Thank have my fingers much. crossed for you, Jacob. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. And uh, I think we're going to leave you here for the moment yes, as yes. well. Yes, yes. Yeah. I look forward so, to seeing you somewhere at the end uh, of yes, the tour. The end. Enjoy Wonderful. the tour. Thank you, I will. It's <laughs> beautiful grounds, beautiful we're grounds. We're very fortunate. Dr. Yeah. Alan Campbell, thank you for your time. Thanks, Bruce. All right, so this Good now morning. is Scott Huntington, Hi. is a registrar here at school. So, I mean, for most parents, you would be their first point of contact when Absolutely. they... Absolutely. So, my role is to sort of make that uh, coming into churchy mm. as smooth and as easy as I can for parents. Yes. So, so do they start with a, a, a phone conversation? Is it yeah, email? Yeah, often it can be then, phone conversation. Yeah. That's always a great idea. And then they can come in on campus and have yes. a tour, get a feel for the culture and the feel of the school. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, yes. let's go have a look let's at the Year 11 class. Indeed. So I wanted to show you yes. just another day yes. in the life of, of Churchy, just yes. what we're doing day to day uh, with bells and everything else. Yes, I know. <laughs> um, and uh, we're going to be going into this into this classroom. classroom here, which is actually a Year 11 maths class. Okay. So we'll just head in here and uh, have a chat with some boys. Okay. Is that Knock knock. Do you mind if we pop in, boys? Thank you. You just keep going. We're just going to have a chat and get a feel for what it's like to be a churchy boy. Right, so we've got now twins, Sam, Sam and Jake. I got yes. that right, didn't I? Okay, so tell me, what, what are you doing here today? Uh, so here, we've just been given an assessment on buy, about buying a car, and it's been given... Uh, <laughs> uh, so... Are you looking at whether you should buy it or what you should be looking at to yeah, buy it? Yeah, based on the model of the car. We can do it from any time span and then we have to do it based on the mileage, uh, the model, colour, all of that to see yeah. if it's a good fit, if we should buy it or not. Okay. How are you feeling about ATAR? Because that's, that's new, isn't it? Yeah. We, we started it well, the second year to go through it, the year, current year 12 is the first yes. year. It's a lot harder than I thought it'd be, but the teachers are really tr making an effort to make it easier on us. Yes, yes, okay. That's wonderful. Now, I think we had one, one more student yes. who we were going to chat with. Thank you, boys. And, yes. and meet Lockie. We'll just come yes. through here. Right on the other side of the class, that's <laughs> all right. <laughs> Hello, Lockie, how are you? Good to see you again. So, uh, what's what have you decided about a car? Is that what you're looking at? Oh, uh, yeah, thinking? we're looking at cars as well. Mm -hmm. um, we're just looking at the like criteria to buy it. So uh, you got to look at like mileage and the age, and you got to compare the two. And this is maths. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no multiplication is... in here. No. <laughs> no. This is just like data analysis. I guess. Okay. Yeah. Data analysis, right? So now, when did you start at Churchy? Uh, I've actually started at Prep. Oh, you're a Prep yeah, boy as well. Been here a while. Yeah. So it feels like a second home, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely is. Yeah. And growing up here. Growing yeah. up here. And how has this year been during COVID? I mean, was that, did you get to come to school or were you working from home? Um, we were, we were doing online classes. So yes. I've personally felt that that was quite, yeah, it was interesting. It was yeah. a different experience. Yeah. Um, nice to be back in the classroom Yeah, though. definitely. Yeah. With like the support of all the teachers, it's very different in class. Yeah. Like, it's more face-to-face -face learning. Yes. Whereas from home, it's kind of different because you're just sitting, looking at a screen. 
a bit more self-discipline. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, I'm sure you've all got a good taste of that. Lucky, thank yeah. you for your time today. I mean, Scott, we can't help but no notice there is there's building work happening. There's That's always right. building work happening. There's always been building work. So we're actually working on um, improving facilities. We're yes. not actually trying to increase the number of students. Yes. Um, what we've got going on out here is uh, we've, we're actually building a bigger uh, tuck shop. Uh, but on top of the tuck shop, yep. uh, we're supersizing it. On top of the tuck shop, we're putting uh, six new classrooms, okay. which is helping us to facilitate what we need for the IB. So I'll yes. talk to you a bit about IB. Yes. Let's we'll head, head over out. this way. Thank you, boys. <laughs> Thanks, boys. See you. Bye. Thank you. Okay, so we've got a changeover of class We've got a changeover of class. This That's is it. just another day in the bustle. life. It's always That's good. Right. Um, now, what we've got, uh, as I was mentioning the IB, yes. Yes. Um, so the IB Diploma Program gives us an option in 11 and 12 for some of our boys to do a, a program which is perhaps um, not, not harder, yes. but just a different way of studying. Okay. And it works really well for boys who um, are self-motivated and really want to get into some very uh, thorough topics. Yes. Um, and what difference does that make when they finish year 12? Yeah. Does that allow them to do different things? Yeah. Or? Well, it, it's particularly good for university entrants okay. and particularly around uh, international universities because right. um, it is an international diploma program mm -hmm. and so universities like Yale and Princeton where we've got boys from, who graduated last year, um, they understand that and it, it makes a lot more sense to them when you talk about that mm -hmm. because, uh, it, you know, a, a great school, great education opens up those opportunities. Yes. So that's the kind of thing we're looking at. The other thing I, I guess that, you know, we have to talk about is that it's a boys only education here at that's Churchy. Right. That's and right. And how important is that? Well look, actually I think it's far more important than, than some people realise. Boys only education, uh, the statistics around um, university entrance mm -hmm. is that in Australia and in a lot of the West we have more women at university than we do have our men. Uh, actually, it's a 58 to 40, uh, a 58 to 42 yes. percent. So you've got this, um, which is fantastic because yes. I've got daughters and you do yes. too. Yes. Um, but we want to see our boys excel. And in a boys only environment, boys learn a bit different than girls. They uh, interact a bit different and this boys only environment gives them a focused way of study. Mm. They also don't get quite as distracted, <laughs> which I'm sure you can appreciate in the teenage yes, years. Yes. So uh, I think it's a it's really valuable thing. Yeah. All right. Now we are going to meet some of the other head boys. Uh, Absolutely. From the school. Yeah. Oh, look, uh, it is about the boys. This yes. education is about the boys. School is about the boys. And so they're the best people to talk to it's if true. you want to get true. a feel for what church is about. Okay, so we have here, we've got Floyd, Finn, and Griff. And I think, Floyd, you are yeah. my first little Correct. interview talent. So we're going to just start walking. And yeah. if you boys join us, and we'll sort of swap it along. Now, you're the head boarder. So Give me a bit of a sense of what is the boarding school like? How does it how does it work? How does everyone interact? Uh, boarding's, I guess, just a big family, to put it simply. Yeah. Like, all the boys form really tight relationships between each other. And yes. We treat the boarding house as our home. So. I and this is a pretty nice backyard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, my house backs onto the flat just there, which is pretty beautiful. So we're all pretty fortunate. So do most of the boarders actually, because I, had, I thought a lot of the boarding houses were sort of in the streets nearby, but they're all on, ground, on campus, are they? No, we've got Goodwin right there, which yes. is on the flat, and okay. then Gerald is across the road. Right, um, okay. On the other side, so. And in terms of the boarders, how they interact, I mean, do the senior boys help the young boys? Because I'm sure you remember, I don't know, when you first yeah. came, must have missed your family. Yeah, of course. Like, all the older boys have to role model to the younger boys, and we buddy people up, so like, new year seven boys get buddied with year 12 boys and it's basically like you bring them up through the years yeah. and help them grow so yeah, yeah. Uh, do you still remember your older yeah, boys of course. you're still in touch and all yeah. that yeah oh i don't know if i've kept in touch but i still remember it was john mcgann and he had similar interests to me like sporting wise so that yeah. really helped me to yeah. fit in and get settled i guess so. now tell me quickly about the rec program because that's a big way of i don't know entertaining the board i mean they get to do lots of things while, yeah, while exactly. they're boarding so most weekends like there will be opportunities on offer for boys to like either go like watch a sporting match somewhere mm -hmm. or go do something fun like laser tag or yeah. something like that. Yeah. It's mainly for the younger boys but I think it's a pretty important program because it just gets the boys out of the house and yes. out into Brisbane. Yeah, yeah. And now I do understand that 
down that way somewhere there's a creek that sometimes the boys go fishing in. Is that yeah. right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, the boys um, love a bit of fishing, which is great. Do they often catch something? Yeah, sometimes. I don't know. The creek's probably not the no. best fishing. <laughs> yeah. No. All right. Well, that's yeah. lovely. Thank you, Floyd. That Thanks is great. Listening. All right. Who's up next? Finn, that's you. All yeah. right. So now, Finn, you're going to talk to me about a little bit about service, which is one of yeah, the tenets yeah, yeah. of the boys. And this area here is yeah. used uh, a, a lot, lot for, a lot. for yeah, service. Yeah. So tell me what, I mean, Anzac Day is a big one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Anzac Day is always held on the flat, um, mm-hmm. which is a pretty big day for churchy. We just get describe like, it, yeah, how many people? What, we get thousands, like tens of thousands. Out? The whole school comes down, we all kind of just like spread out across the flat yes. and we have like stages set up and, you know, the flags everywhere. Yes. And you get a lot of the members of the public too coming to sit down and like watch all of that. And it's a pretty big event too. Yes. Um, I'd say another big area we use a flat in is probably the Sony camp. Okay, too, so explain which is, that to me. Uh, that's where we get we do that with St Margaret's, which is a yes. the, you know the school. sister school yes. of Churchy, and that's run out of the boarding house there. Um, and you kind of just like uh, every boy gets coupled with a uh, you know young young child of special needs and stuff yes. like that, and we. Yes. Um, Kind of just take over for their parents over the weekend and over, so runs over two or three over. nights. Yeah, the kids yeah. come and have a sleepover for the two weekend. or three nights, and yes. they, you know, throughout the day, there's a bunch of stuff that we do all on the flat. And it's like, you know, much like boarding, it becomes like their backyard for the weekend, and yes. you know, activities run all throughout the day. And um, that is a pretty big service event, I would say, for churchy students. That's run for all grade eleven boys to have the opportunity to do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty special time of the year. I bet it is. And I mean, look, you've got beautiful grounds here. We're going to keep walking because there's, there's a lot to cover. I mean, it's a lot to... Yeah, yeah, it's a huge school. <laughs> it's a huge school, yeah. isn't it? But lots of sporting fields and yeah, yeah. all of that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'd say that's another pretty big thing we're lucky about, having such big grounds. And they're all, you know, right here. It's kind of hard to believe that, like, you know, you look out there and you see the city skyline and you just find it hard to believe that we have so much space, um, you know, right here at yes. the back of the classroom which does, I would say, create a more relaxed environment for the boys. You know, when they're all yeah. stacked on top of each other, we're pretty lucky yes. in that it is right there. And, you know, training in the afternoon, you come and you can start by 3.30 and be out of here by 5 and be home by 5.30. And your parents don't have to, yeah, you know, pick yeah, you up from you know, school, exactly. take you somewhere. You, and I guess Rather that teaches like you travel. to be responsible as well yeah, yeah. you've got to look after yourself. And it helps a lot too with organisation and stuff like that, being on top of everything you've got to do, yes. schoolwork and... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, that's lovely, Finn. Thank you for yeah, your time. Well, now we're here at the chapel and Griff is going to come and have a chat with me. So, well, let's come over here and we'll stand so we've got the chapel behind us. Yeah, absolutely. It's beautiful. I mean... It is. It's a nice old building. It is. So, spiritual awareness is one of the tenets, but how does that actually, I don't know, translate into... School. Yeah, into school life. Well, you know, obviously, you know, we're, you know, churchy, you know, obviously a very religious school, but... You know, the tenant is, you know, spiritual awareness. It's not, you know, you must, you know, be spiritual, which, you know, I think is a big, you know, you know, a big factor about it because, you know, obviously we're taught about, you know, all the different religions and, you know, it's just, you have to be made aware of it. You know, these are, you know, what people, you know, this is what people believe in, this is what happens, but, you know, we don't, you know, we don't have to convert anyone, right? You know, we welcome absolutely everyone, whether, you know, obnoxious, atheist, you know, any sort of religions, you're welcome here. And, you know, that's, I think, the big thing, especially with the chapel, you know, we want to make sure we're, you know, welcoming to absolutely everyone, but, you know, we want to make sure that once you, once you do end up leaving here, you're aware of, you know, what is going on and why the spirit, people are spiritual, I guess. Yes. And so how does the chapel play a role? Do you visit once a week? Yeah. So with chapel, we usually go about two to three times a term, depending. So we'll have one, um, house event usually per term yes. uh, we'll have one with your grade Eucharist and then maybe you know one or two others depending if there's you know some special thing on during the term but that that's a rough guide you'll use it yes. you know, roughly two to three times a term yeah. and look a lot of old boys they come back and they might um, they might get married yeah. in, in the chapel or their children get christened or even funerals uh, why do you think that is? It, it has a special place in the old boy's heart? Yeah, I think so. I think, it, you know, you've just, you've spent so much time here. You've built such a connection, especially in the chapel. You know, you, you spend a lot of your time there. You start there, you know, at the end of valedictory, you're there as well. And, you know, I think you just build this, you know, connection that this is where you were. This is where you sort of built yourself. So you want to come back and sort of experience that again. I know, you know, a few, quite a few people got married this year as well. And, I, you know, and uh, family, friends did it. And I think that's just, you know, how they feel. You know, you're just connected to the place. You want to sort of, I guess, build more of that bond with yourself yes now have you decided what you're hoping to do next year uh yes so hopefully next year i'm uh, wanting to study bachelor of actuarial sciences which is looking at a lot of data and math 
which should be nice. You know, hopefully, hopefully my uh, results mean I can get into that, but we'll have to wait and see with these exams coming up. Yes, yes, it is. A, it is a testing time, isn't it? Yes, it's... absolutely. You know, a bit of a unknown territory here and there, but yeah, that's the fun of it, right? You know, you got to try is. to push yourself and go through. For sure, it is. Well, I wish you all the best all right. in in those, Griff. Good. Thank you and very good much. luck for next year. Thank, Thank you, you very guys. much. Excellent. All oh, right. I mean, they're lovely boys, aren't they? And, Absolutely. And, and the way they talk about the school is just with such fondness. That's right. It really is. Yeah, it? it is. When you when you come to church, you don't just come to school. You become a churchy boy. Yeah. And that's what I see when I when I'm interviewing sons and grandsons of of, of men who have come here. So. Yes. So this is. What I love about this is a new building, but I love that it really fits into the churchy landscape Absolutely. very well. Absolutely. So this is our library, mm -hmm. uh, finished in 2017, and it's, uh, it's a beautiful building designed uh, to complement, not yes. to contrast with, with what we have around us. Uh, and in here, you, this is, it, I think it's important that our most significant build yes. is a, a place of education, a place of learning, because that's really what a school's about. Yes. And it's complemented, of course, by our co-curricular program and our spiritual and our service, and that all goes together with the making of men. Um, but at the heart of education is always going to be the learning. So we can see... A class is in place, so they Absolutely. use it for classes. Obviously, there are books. Yeah, there's there's a whole level of books. Uh, there's more classrooms up top, um, and then you've got this space down here, which is a, is a fantastic space. And I can't help but notice all of this. I mean, this is that that's the tradition of the school, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely, this is really important. The boys will be coming past this every every day, and this is just grounds the boys in the tradition and the heritage of the school. And I think for teenagers, it can be sometimes for some boys a really unsettling time of their lives. Yes. But when they're, when they're in church, they've got this history that is part of, of, of their life. Yes. Um, and it becomes that uh, the, the long-standing history just gives them that um, confidence of who they are because they, they, they really do often fully adopt this, this, uh, this uh, understanding of being a churchy boy. Yeah. And I was thinking, I mean, even though there are, I don't know, third generation boys mm. here, but then there are new boys, but they all still develop that sense of being a churchy yeah, boy. Yeah, that's right, because uh, a lot of our boys are uh, first generation to churchy, yes. and um, they'll come in here and they'll realise that, the, that they're part of something long-standing, and, and it means more than just going to school. Mm. It means mm. that they're, they're belonging. Okay, so I mean, with a senior school, Year 7 is obviously the biggest intake here. That's right. So we're going to meet some of the Year 7 boys. Absolutely. I love that they get to work in a place like this. I mean, That's this right. Is, I mean, this isn't quite what I remember it? my no, high school being all. about. Not at all. Um, but it is a fantastic space. Yes. So we'll have um, boys working in these little pods. How are we going, boys? Hi, what are you doing? Uh, at the moment, we're just working through algebra. Algebra, okay. Yeah. And what's it like working in a space like this? Does it does it make you feel I don't know a bit more relaxed or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it makes us feel like we're safe and just yes. it gives us more confidence in ourselves. Mm. I love that. Wonderful. Okay, that's great. Thank you, boys. We're going to come around and see some of the other Year Seven boys around here. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Hello, Melissa. Josh. How are you, How are you? Well, Josh Bella? And we've got some of our Year Seven boys now. You're Head of, or you look after Year Sevens. I Explain do. that role to yeah, me. Yeah, look, I'm head of Year Seven. I okay. work with a team of um, eight form teachers quite closely, yes. uh, and each boy in Year Seven is allocated to a form class. So each of these boys here, um, they are in a form class, mm -hmm. and they are under the um, care of the form teacher who works quite closely with myself. Okay, and so you just make sure that they're all settling in. It's a big. I mean, it's a big transition coming in. It is. Year Seven is a, a huge transition mm. year for these boys, and it all starts uh, when they're in Year Six. We've got boys uh, in this room right now that are Year Six students. And That's right. Um, the shadow days, I heard about that. So they come and just shadow the Year 7 boys to yeah, see how the day runs. They do, and they're buddied up with them f f for the entire day. And yeah. um, it's, it's quite funny, we do a debrief at the end of the day, and we yes. did our debrief yesterday. Um, and I asked the Year 7 boys to explain to the Year 6s what it's like to be um, you know, in the senior school, mm. and they gave such a good answer, and they spoke about, well, Year 7 is, is the best parts of Year 6, combined yes. with the best parts of Year 8. Um, and, oh, and I asked great. him to explain that, and he spoke about, well, in Year 6, yeah. um, you know, we have a form room teacher, we have a form class, and mm. that's the case when they come up to Year 7 as well. Mm. They also get the experience of being in a house system as well, which is exciting. They have their house yes. meetings, which they do weekly. Okay. Um, they have lockers in their house areas, and they participate in house activities as well. Okay, so how many of you boys came through prep school? Uh, I came in Year 4. In Year 4, okay. 
I was here in year six. I'm probably one of the newest boys Okay. Here. I came in year five. Year five? Uh, I came in year five as well. Year five? And I came this year. You came this year. Yeah. And so how have you found settling in? Well, people told me that high school gives you lots of work, so I felt very pressured. However, it was a whole lot different to what I thought because, like, the amount of opportunities they give you, like music, sport, w like, what I want to do, like, church just let me do. So, yeah, it was That's pretty beautiful. cool. Thank you. And how, how did you boys find the transition going from prep school uh, into senior school? We found it really good. Initially, yeah. we were a bit frightened at first mm. when we didn't realise about all the uh, help that the senior school gave us. Okay. So. Uh, what sort of help? What do you things mean? Things such as orientation day and the shadow day. Yes. So the shadow day, which we all went through last mm. year, whether you were new or not, uh, you went through what's going on now. So mm. the, as Mr. You just Debella kind of come said, up and, you, and see what it's like yes, for a day and get and a taste of it. Yes, and yeah. meet your teachers. And then there's the orientation day, which is meeting, and there's also a meeting form teacher day. Mm -hmm. So when you meet your form teacher, it's really good because... It's the last day before the term starts okay. and it's a great day for your form to really get to know your form teacher and mm -hmm. start that student teacher relationship and then they show you around the school and show you your classroom and really unpack everything about the coming okay. weeks and the coming year. Yeah right so Josh mentioned houses so are you not in the houses in prep school or you just change how or, or there are more houses in senior school is that? There's a there's a separate set of houses in the prep school okay um and then in the senior school there's I, th I think 11 yes, 11, 11 houses and they're definitely very very involved in your houses so you have service that's managed a lot through your houses okay. and there's so many opportunities to get involved in it. Yeah. What do you think? So how, how have you felt that? Is the work a lot, is there a lot more work in Year 7 than uh, Year 6? How's that been? I'd say there's far more but there's more day, more time to do it because yes. prep school's more uptight and <laughs> you need to get the work in by a certain day yes. and there's it's well senior school's more spread out and mm -hmm. you've got you feel more comfortable doing the work yeah great and what about sport i guess there's a lot more sporting opportunities so here in the senior yeah, school yeah there's um a lot of sport you can do so for example there's cricket and swimming in term one mm -hmm. so they also add the service cadets so okay. you can do army air force or navy cadets so i think that can start when you're about grade seven or eight and you can do that all the way through to grade 12 as a service and slash sport activity. It's also a lot of other stuff, like they include rowing and volleyball as you come mm -hmm. up. So there's also new opportunities for sport in the senior school compared to what we've come from in the prep school. Yeah, that's great. I mean, year seven is a, is a really important yeah. year, isn't it? Yeah. So how do you think churchy does it differently or, yeah. or better than other schools to, to no, absolutely yeah. it's 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 one of those it is the most important year in mm. a senior school because it is that transition and, that, and that's how we very much label it as that transition year and as I said before we give them the best of year six yes. and we give them the best of year eight and we combine that just to give them the full experience and to to ease them into it just so they're not mm. thrown in the deep end and we you know we get them ready for eight to twelve yeah that's wonderful all right well Josh thank you very much boys thank you for your thank time you. today we're going to keep Thanks, on traveling all right good thank you all right so Melissa we've met some teachers and we've yes. met some boys yes. Let's meet some parents and get the Wonderful. full picture of uh, what church is like. <laughs> I can hear them chatting from of here. Of course, yeah. <laughs> and this is our, our fantastic cafe, uh, which is great for parents uh, and teachers to meet in. How are we? I'm going to sit down Well, here because I'm going to have to stretch the microphone across. Okay, so for those people at home, we have Danielle and Craig Harris. We have Darren Marchant and Sarah Scott. Now, obviously, all boys at the school, although some have left as well. So I'm going to start here. You have two boys. Two boys. So our youngest is currently in year 12. Yes. Our oldest is second year uni uh, QT doing an engineering degree. And they've been here 15 years collectively. And did you have any doubts about sending the boys here or you knew? No. We knew. We knew Churchy was a well-rounded school and not knowing what we were getting with either boy, they've both got what they needed to get out of the school beautifully. Yeah, and they're both totally different. So one's academic, yes. one's more rounded and sporty. Yes. So the school's been able to give both of them exactly what they needed. Yeah. Darren, you've got... 
Uh, two? Four children, oh, but two four, boys. Two boys, um, yes. So Lachlan, my oldest boy, finished here in 2017. Yes. He's third year uni at UQ. Mm -hmm. uh, and Jacob's in grade 12 here this year, finishing yes. up in a few weeks. So um, Jacob was the head boy that we met earlier today. Yes. Yeah, yes. Very right. proud dad, I'm sure. He spoke Absolutely, very yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, well. what do you think the school has offered that allowed the boys to, well, and especially Jacob, to be uh, school captain. I mean, how did the, how did the school nurture them to, to find the best of them? Yeah, I agree with what Danielle said and Craig. Um, I think that the best thing about the school for us was um, the two boys are similar in some ways, but different in other ways. And it's offered them both different pathways to, to sort of ex ex excel in what they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. um, so they've been given every, every opportunity to try a lot of different things and, and work out what they like doing. And um, whilst they were similar in their sporting and academic achievements, they've both tried different things along the way and the school's been very supportive of that and I think the boys have loved that part of being at the school. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sarah, you have three boys. I do. <laughs> I have Year 9, Year 12 and Second Year Uni. Yes. So I've been here a long time as well, yes. Now I do wonder, with three boys, did you ever think maybe they should have, I don't know, had co-ed to have that sort of female influence or you felt that the boys only education was right for them? Well, you always question it, but um, I think it's worked out very well for our boys. And to be fair, Churchy has a very good relationship with St Margaret's and Somerville. So mm -hmm. even from, and my boys started in reception, even mm -hmm. from very early on, they were doing days with St Margaret's girls or Somerville girls. And now they do touch footy competitions and dances. And yes. so they have that interaction. But they've also met a lot of sisters of the boys that go to school here. And they've made some very good friends that way. And they all seem to be very comfortable with girls, despite having been in an all-boys school. So, yes. yeah. What about parental involvement? How involved do you feel that you are in the boys' lives at school? I mean, are there lots of things to, to get involved in if you want to? Absolutely. There's many opportunities. Um, a lot of it is through sport, which yes. is great, and you, you make a great community with it, rugby or basketball or whereabouts. We've been involved in a lot of fundraising with the school and events, which has been a lot of fun. And so for us, that's been quite nice. Yeah, yeah. Is there that parental community? You're all, yes, you know... Yes, yeah. We've good. made some great friends out of parents of our kids. Yes. And, uh, yeah, I think probably for my boys and yeah. for me, one of, the, one of the best things was Billy Cart Day because it's a father-son building a Billy Cart, getting yes. it together. Yes, And it's a great way to build a team spirit. It was excellent. Yes, yeah. Well, even, I mean, my girls were at Oakland's, which is the daycare, and they would they would come out and watch the Billy Cart thing. So I know, I know the Billy Cart the Billy Carr thing, definitely. What would you say is the your your favourite memory of something that that your son experienced at Churchy, or your sons, one of your sons, or both, or all? I think for me, I mean, obviously, I've been involved pretty heavily with the basketball program as well um, yes. as a coach, and I've enjoyed being involved with all of the boys I've coached here, um, and obviously, my own two boys have played. Yes. Um, but I think overall, I just think generally they're both really happy with what they've done at the school. They've enjoyed pretty much everything they've been given the opportunity to do here. Mm. And just seeing the boys being happy at school and, in, and actually loving their experience here and even watching Lachlan, my older boy, wanting to come back now and be involved in coaching roles and tutoring roles here with even the Even though he's student. finished, he wants to so, still come back and be yeah, involved. Yeah, and I think Jacob's the same. I think he will be involved as well. And the fact that young, old boys want to come back pretty well straight away and contribute and help the next generation through, whether that be academically or through sporting or fundraising or whatever it is, um, I think that's a really good indication that the school's yes. something that is a big part of their lives and hopefully will continue to be that way. So. How does a parent decide it's the right school? It's hard. I mean, to be honest, I wasn't probably as confident as Danielle when we started that it mm. was going to be right with our eldest son. But once we were in the system, it was overwhelmingly good. And I, ha again, I have three very different boys with yes. different needs. And I, it just worked. And the plethora of opportunities, whether it's robotics or debating, musical, and my boys yes. have tried all of those things. Yes. Um, and it's just worked for them, yeah. And I think every boy finds their niche, their place, and they're all accepting whether you're sporty or whether you're artistic. They're all very inclusive as well, mm. which has made it wonderful, mm. yeah. Would there be a final bit of advice, perhaps to a parent that is considering churchy? What would, um, what might you say to them? I'd probably say do your homework, do your research, talk to people in the community, ask those questions, and see if it does tailor to your child that you know they can actually step up to that capability. Yeah. Um, but look, really, I don't think you'll lose with Churchy. It is so well-rounded. It, it ticks all the boxes. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, yeah I agree. I think, but based on our experience, it's been a wonderful school. Yeah. Right, I suggest everyone have a go at it. Yeah. <laughs> Hang the expense. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, you know, it can be a financial sacrifice for some families. It is. But Correct. You, do you think that it's money well spent? I do, yes. Yeah. And it is the making of men. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. That's true. They're guided the whole way through. Yes. I think the pastoral care from the teachers, the house masters, all the way through yes. has Support. been absolutely wonderful. Yeah. And they just guide it. And the careers, we're in the careers planning at the moment, mm. the careers council, all that guidance all the way through has been amazing. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for your time today, all of you. Um, we're going to continue on the tour. I think we're heading down this way. Uh, so thank you very much. Thank you. I'll see you all again soon. Thanks. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank so, you. so that was wonderful, being able to yeah. have a chance to chat with some parents right. and, and parents who've had a lot of experience and like they were saying with different boys as yes. well, uh, yes. all boys are different. I mean so you Scott in your role, you're kind of the first point of call mm. for parents, what are the sorts of questions they want to know about the school? I mean I suppose in some ways the academic levels of the school or the sporting credentials, there are mm. some things that are obvious, but I guess they want to know the more subtle things of, mm. is my son going to fit in? Is he Absolutely. going to make friends? Look, How do you answer look, that? Look, as, as parents, we want, the co we, we want all the facilities and, yes. the, and all of those things, but more than anything else, we want our boys to be happy. Yes. We want our children to enjoy school. Yes. And that's, what, um, that's one of the things that always comes up. Um, what is the culture of church? And that's why I think it's so important for people to, like the parents said, mm do their homework, experience it and feel it and get a sense for what is it like to walk around the school? Uh, what is it, what, would my son fit in here? Mm. Of course, there's, there's one of the concerns that parents always have is will he be happy? Yes. Uh, will he be in an environment where he's nurtured and looked yes. after? Yes. And um, I think that uh, the, the issue of bullying always yes. comes up yes. um, because that's part of life. Well, I think some people might think all boys, there's a lots of testosterone, I don't mm. know, it comes with the territory. Sure. So how do you deal with it? If, yeah. I mean, you, you know, it would be naive to think that it never happens, so no. how does the school deal yeah. with it? The really important thing with, with those kinds of incidences is that you, uh, you have a system that's clear. You have people who, mm. who uh, know how to deal with it and have the time to deal with it. Schools yes. are very busy places, but we put we have um, housemasters who are given extra time to be able to deal with any issues that mm. come up, mm. so that they can fully um, talk to the boys, understand why incidences are occurring, are occurring. and um, then they can they can deal with it and, and respond to it appropriately. Yes. Yes. Um, but the thing is, you never ignore it. No. You always no. have to face it and work through it and help both parties, all parties. Yes, involved. and I suppose there are those, there are safety nets that are there to, to catch. Yeah, so every know. morning the boys will have a pastoral care with the teacher and the teacher will spend 20 minutes with the boys just getting a feel for who, yes. how they're going, how they're tracking and the housemaster will then, uh, if there's any concerns then, that they're passed on to the housemaster will just give mum or dad a call yep. and just see how things are going. Okay, now I think you've organised some year 10 boys for me I to have. chat with. Good morning, boys. Now I think I'm going to start with Archie. Is that all right? Archie, all right, come and join me. Now, Archie, you're, you're big into the sport. What are the sports that you're doing? So currently at the moment, I compete in cross country and yes. track and field for the school. Yes. Um, but in prior years, I have been involved in the rowing program okay. and service cadets. Okay, so yeah. with the sport, we were talking the other day about the opportunities yeah. that there are to, you know, to follow those yeah. sporting, the, yeah. going to overseas universities even. Tell me how that happens. Yeah, Churchy has provides the Oops. opportunities to be involved <laughs> in all aspects of the school. Yes. Um, whether that be f competing at a high level with cross country or track and field mm -hmm. at nationals. But, you know, it provides platforms for everyone to be involved at the school. Yes. Um, no matter what your child likes to be involved with, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so. And did, were you saying that you were hoping to perhaps go to Princeton? Yeah, to after school I'd like to travel overseas to compete um, over in America yes, for yes. Princeton, yeah. Okay, and does the school help you do that? I mean, or it's part of it? Yeah, yes. Churchy encourages all students to be involved and provides the platforms to be able to go overseas yeah. and the opportunities to be involved yeah. yeah, fantastic. All right, we're going to start walking now, and I think that, Harry, we're going to have a chat now. Yep, yep, you're up, you're up. Now, you do debating and drama. Tell me, what 
what sort of drama opportunities are there here? I mean, I know there's the big musical every year with Somerville, isn't it? Yes. And what, what uh, other sort of opportunities are there? Uh, so, uh, every on year there's a musical and the other year there's a play. And the, okay. year that, the year that there's a play, you can still do a musical at Somerville. Right, OK. Um, and there's also a... Uh, there's a junior play for year seven to nine. Right, OK. Which I did uh, three times. Yes. And there's theatre sports, which is kind of like competitive improv. And so is that the theatre sports, is that within the school? or Yeah, it's yes, run okay. through the school. It's run through yeah. the school. OK, great. And debating you do as well? Yes. And so that's you compete against other schools yes, for the debating. Correct. So how does that work? Uh, you just like get a topic and you debate about it. Yes. And in it, teams. Yeah. yeah. So it's like everyone in a room arguing about things they don't understand. <laughs> now tell me about the homework club, because I know oh. that's something else that the... Yeah. yeah, so that was what I did instead of doing cadets for the Year 9 okay. service program. We might just stop here so that you can oh. see that they can have a look at the beautiful surroundings while we chat. Otherwise, we're getting to our next location too fast. So, yeah, so tell me about the home... The uh, so it was every Monday when some people would do cadets, there were also service programs yes. that were run separate from that. So okay. I went down to... It was a local church and yes. we helped out some primary schoolers with their homework. With their homework. Yeah. And that was every Monday for a uh, term? For a year. Oh, for a whole year? Yeah. So what did you learn by doing that? Uh, I guess I just learnt like, how to help people with their homework and help people that probably weren't as like, academically inclined as I was mm. and just try and encourage them in that regard. Yeah, yeah. And so what are the other different types of services that people can do? Um, so... Oh, correct me if I'm wrong, people, but uh, there's, uh, there's life-saving, there was a toy-making okay. club, huh. um, there was a scouts program, I believe. Okay. Um, there were probably more, but I can't remember what they were. Yes. Yeah, that's wonderful. All right, Harry, thank you very much for your no time. Problem. And I've got Lachlan. Come on in, Lachlan. Now, you're a boarder as I well, am. aren't you? Yeah. yeah. So, tell me about, what do you do on a weekend when you... Um, so, on a weekend, if you're not on leave with your parents... Yes. Uh, normally, you just go down and play touch on the flat here. Yes, yes. Um, all the gym's open. Yes, okay. So you can go down and do that or just yeah, hang out with your mates. Yeah. yeah. it's good. Great, okay. And did you do cadets? I did, I did okay, Navy. what did you do? Navy. I did Navy last year. So what does year. that entail? Um, so on a Monday afternoon, mm -hmm. you'd come down here to TS Magnus. Yes. And you'd either go boating, mm -hmm. so go out through the Norman Creek onto the Brisbane yes, River. Yes, yes. Um, what I type did. of boats? Oh, just tinnies. Oh, right, um, tinnies, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, or, well, I do that quite a bit. Yes. But <laughs> otherwise you could learn how to, like, put a sail up on a boat yeah. and sail. Um, not, like, how to do knots. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you enjoy that? Oh, it was pretty good, yeah. Yeah. How important is it, do you think, to sort of learn those other skills as well as study and... Um, yeah, I guess it's fairly important to, well experience that opportunity mm. because not all schools provide it so yeah. may as well take it yeah absolutely yeah. we're going to keep walking this way what year did you start at churchy so i started in 2017 in grade seven in grade seven okay. yeah and did it did it take you long to settle in do you think um the first term you know because you're getting used to the boarding environment yes so yes. i guess you we're go down here okay yeah i guess like Meeting new people. Yes. Um, and being away from home. Yeah, that's, exactly. That can be tough. Yeah. And the older boys, though, they help you settle in. Yeah, it's good yeah. having the older boys around you. Yes. Yeah. Because they've got that experience, so they can help you. Yes. You know, with homesickness, whether it be yes. learning how to or how the school works. Yeah. Yeah. All right, boys, thank you very much for your time yeah. this morning. That was thank lovely you. to meet you. Okay, bye bye. All right, here we are now. This at is our, the. This is our sports centre, our Sir okay. John Pigeon Sports Centre. And uh, our boys are really blessed. We've got. Two full-sized basketball courts, yes. full of energy. As you can They're hear. a bit noisy too, those That's boys. Right. <laughs> That's right. And this is them being quiet. So uh, boys, boys need to be able to have the time to uh, do their their exercise, their activities. Yes. Uh, and this is also one of the ways that boys really build relationships. So, yes, um, yes. I do love it. Can we just let the people at home know, we chose badminton because we thought it would be the quietest of the sports <laughs> to show you, but it's still pretty noisy. I guess that's what happens when you get a group of boys together. That's right. That's the competitive nature in our boys comes out. <laughs> uh, and that's a great thing. In fact, um, in a boys' school, we really harness that competitiveness. Yes. Um, because 
it's natural in boys. Boys are competitive about everything. They're competitive about pizza. <laughs> so uh, well, you might as well work with it. So we will harness that that uh, with our boys. Yes. But you can see along the back wall, um, we've got uh, a whole range of sports that our boys compete at yes. at GPS level. And GPS is a very high level of, of school sports. Um, but it's about the boys having an opportunity yes. to find yes. the thing that they're good at. So we've got great rugby, yes. but then we've also got national champions of chess. Yes. So that yes. full gamut of uh, And I think that enthusiasm. does come across talking to the different boys, that mm. each of the debating, chess, music or sport, whatever it is, they're all valued the Absolutely. same. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're all allowed to be... Yeah. You know the important exactly. aspect of a, of a of the child. Yeah. So in a boys' school, some people have the impression that it's going to be boisterous and yes. and, and rugby and all that. And sure, there is that element to mm. it. There, but one of the things I've found is that when there aren't girls around, uh, boys relax and they yes. can be themselves. Yes. And so I've found that um, boys here who uh, I'll give you an example. Mm. We've got six, uh, sorry, three full choirs. Yes. And, and there's choirs yes. in co-ed schools, but there's not many boys, boys in, in them. them. That's right. So in a, in a boys' school, boys are free to be themselves. Yes. It's actually quite different to what might, people might think. Uh, and, mm. and we celebrate that with national chess champions yeah. uh, or, or, or music or debating yes. as well as the sports. It is. It's a beautiful facility. And, of course, there's the creek. That, just uh, there. Yes, Absolutely. just there. And so that's where they get in, is it? And then, yeah, yeah, and then head out? In, they get in there, and this is also one of the few schools, you notice some tinnies there, that boys actually come to school, in not on tinnies. a bus, but in a tinny. In the tinnies, I love it. It's wonderful. Yeah. There is are it, some tinnies there. there. I think, I think, they, I think they're just oh, yes. water quality. Oh, can you, yes. I don't know, can you see that? The group of boys um, on, the, on the jetty there. Can you see? And so what do you think they're doing? Testing I water quality, testing like a science, quality, a yes. science. I suspect that it's a... Uh, it's a science class and mm -hmm. from time to time they'll take samples from the creek and determine you know, the clarity of the water, the acidity, the yep. toxicity, all of those things which gives them a great knowledge of the local mm. area. Mm. Uh, and of course they love doing it. Yes. Boys, mm. boys love doing, Absolutely. Uh, they love action, they love the experiential learning. So yes. they're, having, uh, you know, they're having a great lesson out there. I think we're going to head outside, it's a little bit quieter yes. out there and then, yes. we, can, and then we can do, do our final, final wrap up. I mean that is the joy though of having such incredible grounds that the boys can go and, you know, they've got their own creek. They can, yes. Yes. Well, <laughs> I mean how well, wonderful is that? They're very fortunate that the, the sense of place uh, that the site gives them and, and affords the school. Is, yes. um, it's very special, you know, and, and, and it will take, you know, it takes, it takes a vision that's over a century, a century old to, to have this opportunity. Yes, so, yes. Uh, you know, we just give thanks and gratitude to uh, those who've gone before. Well, it's been lovely taking this tour of the, of the school. I mean, it's, it's, it's a beautiful school. The grounds are incredible. Um, now, if, of course, if anyone wants more information, they... Absolutely. Just give me touch. a call. Um, you can contact me via our website even. Yes. Uh, and I'm more than happy to take families on a personalised tour yes. and discuss with them what churchy would look like for their son. For their son, yeah. Mm. Well, a big thank you, if I may, on behalf of our community, yes. to, to you. Thank you. To the viewers at home. Yes, indeed. To those who are watching, perhaps, and will watch in the coming days, belatedly. We want to say thank you. Mm. Uh, and it's also our way of saying, uh, had circumstances been different, we'd have had you here as our guest. Yes, definitely. Mm. Uh, we're looking forward to those days. They'll be back. Uh, in the meantime, please take faith that, uh, <laughs> that we're among many uh, you know, schools who are providing um, surety and, and support for young people at a difficult time. Yes. So thank you My for pleasure. being here. My pleasure. And, and when circumstances are different, uh, please come and see us and uh, get in touch. Absolutely. All right. Thank, thank you. you for your time today.